As well to commemorate International Day of Peace, Nigerians and Kaduna states have joined their counterparts to celebrate by calling on government at all levels, political actors and Nigerian youth to imbibe a peaceful coexistence, forgiveness and reconciliation to thrive for the development of the nation. The co-director of Interfaith Mediation Center, Kaduna, Reverend Dr. James Wuye, says religious leaders and youth plays vital role of fostering and sustaining peace within various institutions and communities, which is panacea to development of state and nation. We've done anywhere in Nigeria that we know that where Christians and Muslim youth will come together in uniform, those who are the traffic controllers in our places of worship, those who are the ones that control human beings when they come, we say if religious youth organizations like this can come together, we can have peace in Nigeria. Consequently, we can have peace in the whole world. We want this initiative to be escalated all over Nigeria. Young people should take the lead of bringing peace in our community. We are calling on the federal government also to imbibe the culture of forgiveness, reconciliation. If we don't reconcile, we cannot move forward. If we don't live in peace, we cannot move forward. So I call on the federal government, all the political actors, traditional leaders, women, young men, please live in peace. Today is historic because it's a day that is designated globally for people to celebrate peace because peace is something that everyone needs, the young and the old, men and women, elderly and the children, the have and the have not. The educated and uneducated, this is a very essential ingredient for us to experience development in our communities, in the state, and even globally. Peace is certainly a, an essential commodity that should be promoted by one and all. No peace, there will be no progress, there will be no development, and even the atmosphere will be chaotic. Uh, worship, will too, worship too will certainly be affected because uh, the freedom for people to move and to carry out their normal businesses will not be there. Peace to Nigeria is respect each other, respect everyone, and let peace reign. For you to understand that um, their worth is not in conflict, their worth is in growth, their worth is in um, development, their worth is in peace. Avoid anything conflict, avoid anything that would disrupt the nation. Your youths are much more than conflicts. Youths are the, wo uh, the voice of peace, and um, with, with the youths in everything, um, the world would be a better place. It is, we have peace, isn't it? Because we are looking for peace for everywhere, Akaduna and Kano, isn't it? Because there's no peace. And now the peace has come down. Isn't it? All of us who have peace, who have cooperated for the peace. Because of that, we just go out for peace today. Is it to you that we should cooperate? Isn't it? You have work to do. Taking collective action for peace in Kaduna State. Subsequently, we are asking the federal government to under the federal uh, the, uh, minister for youth that this thing should be escalated nationally so that faith leaders, young faith leaders can take action for peace. So this is what we are saying, this is what we are doing. Youth all over Nigeria, all over the world should remember. They don't have to destroy our country to make any of this thing. Today there is crisis in, 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 in Kano State, a day of peace. We are calling on the Kano youth, those in uniform and out of uniform, please respect the peace let's have peace in nigeria please they should not die for anybody's interest we are greater than one person hello hope you enjoyed the news please do subscribe to our youtube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates